Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video we will talk about structure pointers in C programming language. In the previous tutorials we have learnt about the structures in C programming language and uh, here if you look at the code then I have uh, included the stdio.h header file to this program and then I have written the main function and inside this main function I have defined a structure called as student which has two members. The first member is called as name, which is a character array. And the second member is age, which is of type integers. And after defining the structure, I have created a variable by using the structure. And I have called it as anil. And I have initialized this variable while uh, defining it. So I have the values anil and 30 for this uh, name and age members. And after that here I'm using this printf function and I'm displaying the values which are present in this uh, structure variable anil. So we are displaying name and age and if I run this code then uh, you guys can see we get name equal to anil and age equal to 30. Now here we are using this dot operator to access the member of a structure variable. Now this dot operator is also called as structure member variable. It allows us to access the member of a structure using a structure variable. Now let us talk about the pointers. Pointer is a special variable which can contain the memory address of another variable. For example, in our program, if we have an integer variable, let's call it as x and let us say x is containing 10 and what we can do is we can create a pointer to contain the memory address. So let us call it as p and in this pointer p we can store the memory address of this variable x and to get the memory address of this variable x we use this ampersand symbol which is called as the address of operator and uh, here we are storing the memory address of this variable x in this pointer p. Now if you want to access the value present in this variable x by using this pointer p then we need to use the pointer dereferencing operator which is denoted by this star. So if we write star p then it will point to the x. So you know if we assign some value for example 20 then here this will change the value stored in this variable x. Now here this tutorial is not focused on the pointers. So I hope you know you know about the pointers. If you don't know then uh, you can watch my tutorial. Now just like the way we have created a pointer here in our program we can create a pointer which can contain the memory address of a structure variable. So to create a pointer to store the memory address of a structure variable First, we need to specify the type which will be a structure called as student in this case. And then we need to use the star operator to indicate that this variable is a pointer. And then we need to give a name for the pointer. So we can call it as PTR here. So here this PTR is the name given for this pointer. And this struct student is the type. It is same as declaring an integer pointer. Int which is the data type and then we write star p where p is the pointer. Now what we can do here in this program is we can store the address of this structure variable anil in this pointer ptr and to get the address of a variable we need to use the address of operator which is denoted by this ampersand symbol and we need to write the variable name to get the memory address of that variable. So in this case, we want the memory address of this structure variable anil. So we write ampersand anil. So this will provide us the memory address of this anil structure variable. And what we can do is we can store that in this pointer ptr. So here ptr equal to and then the address of this structure variable anil. Now here what we can do is by using this pointer ptr we can access the members of this structure variable anil and if we want then we can change them. Now here in our program if we were using the structure member operator which is the dot operator to access the member of a structure variable then we have to write the structure variable name first 
then we have to use the dot operator or the structure member operator and then we have to write the member name for example age so you know i can change the value to 200 or something now by using this pointer ptr to access the age member of whichever the structure variable it is pointing i can't write ptr dot age that's because for this dot operator or this structure member variable to work properly we need to provide the structure variable this will not work that's because this ptr is actually containing the memory address of the structure variable so in order to access the structure variable which, which is pointed by this pointer ptr what we can do is we can use the pointer dereferencing operator if we write this then what happens now here i'm using the parenthesis that's because if we don't use the um, parenthesis then the dot operator has the higher precedence so it will be considered first but what we want is first we want this pointer dereferencing to happen then we want this dot operator to work now if i save this program and if i run this code then you guys can see we get name equal to anil and age equal to 200 if you look at this printer function then we are using this dot operator to access the members of the structure variable anil now you know we can use it wherever we want this method you know if you want we can use that in this printer function also in c programming language we have an operator available and it is called as structure pointer operator also called as the arrow operator and it is denoted by this minus and this uh, greater than symbol and this operator simplifies the process of accessing the member of a structure variable using a pointer so to access the member of a structure variable by using the arrow operator or the structure pointer operator first we have to write the pointer which is ptr in this case and then we have to use the arrow operator and then we can specify the member of the structure that we want to access here i'm gonna say age and then you know we can do whatever we want you know if you want to change the value then we can provide the value for example i'm gonna make it 10 now here while using this uh, operator make sure that you don't put any space between this minus and greater than symbol so they should be together here this arrow operator dereferences the pointer and accesses the structure member just like the way we were doing here this will do now if i save this program and run this code then you guys can see age is 10 now and that's because uh, while initializing this uh, variable we have provided the value 30 and then we have used this method and we have set 200 in the age member and after that we have used this structure pointer operator and we have changed the value to 10 so 10 is the latest value that we have saved and that is printed in our program whenever we create the pointer of a structure variable we will be using this arrow operator and uh, you know if you want you can use this method also so this is it guys for this video thank you for watching if you like this video hit the like button if you don't like it then hit the dislike button if you want to say something then write that in the comment box for more tutorials like this do subscribe to the channel thank you for watching i'll see you later in the next video